Today is Saturday, 20th of May, 2023, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is Know and Walk in Truth. Our theme scripture is taken from John 8, verse 32, and it says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Hallelujah. When people don't know the truth, they believe a lie, and as a result, they suffer in life. Pastor begins, God said in Hosea 4 verse 6, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Oh, this is really touching, Pastor says. It's one of the reasons we are teaching God's people His word through this devotional, so they will walk in truth and in the realities of the new life in Christ. Praise God. What is truth and how does God see you? Truth is reality. Truth is the word of God. In John 17 verse 17, Jesus said in prayer to the Father, Thy word is truth. Many have their lives in jeopardy and experience defeat, sadness, gloom, failure, and sickness because of their ignorance of God's word. But thanks be unto God. The Bible says, Through knowledge shall the just be delivered. As we find in Proverbs 11 verse 9, the knowledge of who you are in Christ and your heritage in Him will transform the entire quality of your life. Pastor says, Understand that as a Christian, you are a different breed. The Bible says, But ye are a chosen generation. That we can find in 1 Peter 2 verse 9. The word generation is the same word for breed. You are a special breed superior to sickness, disease, and everything of darkness and the devil. Hallelujah. Also, you have an incorruptible life, a life of victory, success, excellence, and great glory. It's a life that can't be infected by any plague or disease. You can't be poisoned or destroyed. Oh, glory to God. Jesus said in Mark 16, 17 to 18, And these signs shall follow them that believe. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Glory to God. You have to know and consciously affirm these truths about yourself every so often. Pastor says, You are a partaker of the divine nature. The life in you is divine and sustained by the Spirit of God who lives in you. But if the Spirit of Him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. That was from Romans 8 verse 11. So pastor says in conclusion, leave with this consciousness and exercise yourself in these truths. Oh, thank you, dear Lord, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. Oh, realistic a confession now meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in me. Therefore, I'm vitalized by the power of God. Spirit, soul, and body. I exercise myself in these truths and walk on in health. As a result of the divine life in me, I live triumphantly above sickness, disease, and infirmities. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, please read Luke 10 verse 19, Romans 8 verse 11, and Psalm 82, 5 to 7. Now, Pastor said to us, the knowledge of who you are in Christ and your heritage in Him will transform the entire quality of your life. Oh, absolutely. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, Oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. 
I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.